Check this out, Garden City. So I believe what, I, what we're looking at here is a Chayote flower cluster. And um, I knew this was gonna happen. Um, so it's like, the, it's like the middle of October, it's the end of summer, it's the beginning of fall. And um, I knew that was gonna happen that I was going to face with the decision of do I just pull up the chayote because I pulled it off the, the, the greenhouse should I just pull it all up and harvest the roots which are also edible <clears throat> and uh, you know the last the leaves or should I just um, the last the leaves which are still good I love these stems these stems are so good in stir fries I just love them. I'm almost sad to see summer end because I won't have these for very much longer. But um, anyway, um, so I think what I want to do is uh, cut back. Oh boy, this, this light is too harsh. Anyway, here we go. Here's another one. So what I want to do is cut back the vines and maybe leave about maybe three or four good um, flowers, flower clusters so that I might be able to uh, maybe stick the whole pot in the greenhouse because there's this cucumber um, which is still still finishing up its flower and um, anyway I need to put this stuff in the to allow it to die back so I think I'm going to do that, cut back the vines so that they can be accommodated in the greenhouse because really what's happening is that one way or the other I need to do something because when I cut the vines off the greenhouse I just draped it over these cherry, this cherry tree and um, I really, you know, I think it's going to start to suffer soon even though it's the end of uh, the summer, the summer's done and uh, those leaves are going to fall over, fall off soon enough. But um, I just don't want to, uh, I don't want the branches to uh, break or whatever. Anyway, um, the next project at hand is uh, getting this straw bale out of the greenhouse. Because I put it in here to, um, because it rained a couple days ago and... I need to stick it in the back, put close to the coop. I gotta get this rest of this junk out of here. It's really just a couple of bags and I think a couple of pots under there. And then there's some soil that uh, accumulated over the summer. So I need to get that up, that you know, scooped up and cleaned up. And then I need to water the plants because everything is doing okay but I just don't want to see these are looking a little dry yeah they're kind of flopping over mostly because they're tall but they're also a little dry and these poor beets have been kicked around literally for months um, I believe these are actually still um, left over from winter sowing um, and they just haven't been growing very well because they've just been messed around so much and squirrels dug up you know this they made these holes recently and they dug up I, I showed you before dug up my little seedlings walked all over stuff so um, they look okay but I need to um, I need to transplant those things anyway I really want to get this started so let me get this this project gone before uh, my day wears on and I don't really get too much done so here I go. Uh, I'm not exactly procrastinating. There's this piece of chicken wire that was in the way, and this I've been kind of moving back from the in front of the greenhouse to the back. And so I need to. This is actually supposed to be a gate for the inside enclosure by the cabbages. So anyway, I'm repurposing this uh, piece of chicken wire 
put it over the top here because the idea is that when chickens when chickens are um what am I trying to say? We wanted to keep the chickens from jumping up and perching on this nice solid base. I'm gonna put this chicken wire here so that the top of the fence, the top of the gate is actually, you know, this, this wobbly, thin chicken wire that they won't be so happy to perch on. Nearly impossible, but you know, they can do it, but it's, it won't be an easy thing and they won't do it. And so anyway, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna staple this on and then move this out of the way so I can get this out of the way once well, Folks, before. it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. just replace the junk that was there just a little bit more tidy I guess and um, maybe I will just go ahead and put this this uh, shelf back in place um, I don't know I don't know if I can I think I use it I think I can use it so anyway um, anyway, I'm excited I'm very excited about getting this done so much more cheerful in here now Put a couple tomatoes. I put three tomato plants in here, and um, this is ginger. And there's a geranium in that same pot, and these beets. I move things around a little bit. Um, hopefully tomorrow I can get a whole lot more done. But anyway, that's it for now. I think. get as much done as I would hope but I did get a lot done so anyway thanks for spending time with me thanks for watching <laughs>